Okay. Hello. Hello and welcome back to the Bay. Another day in the Bay. I'm Danny. I'm Takis. No, I'm back with a new guest. Look at that. What is that, Danny? It's my Gibson Les Paul from back home. My mum sent it over to me. Second attempt now. Brexit got me and... Uh, oh yes, that's right. You had, when she sent it over the first time, there was no extra yeah. uh, well, customs or whatever fee it is mm -hmm. on top. But the second time around, you had to pay a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks, oh, yeah, because of Brexit. But it's here, and Worth I love it. it. And yeah, it's not about this guitar today. Um, but this is going to be appearing on the show quite often. So we have the the privilege of having a Telecaster, and now my Gibson Les Paul that I've had for fifteen years. So maybe they will get some more information. Yeah, about that's it. a lovely pair, isn't it? So like Definitely. Single coils, humbuckers, a Tele, and a Les Paul for testing amps, pedals, just to have a nice round pair of guitars on the show and um what can you tell us about it is it um so it's gibson les paul usa made yep it's studio? a les paul studio, studio from i think 2006 um i saved up for a year in my paper round to get this and uh i wanted to buy a white one initially and i ended up getting the fireburst one because the white one sold out and i went back to get it and i'm actually glad i got the fireburst seymour duncan and nico two Pro pickups, so I'm a Slash fan, and because the initial pickups were quite, quite bassy actually. And, and this is more vintage sounding. You wanted the white one because of the darkness, isn't it? Where yeah, exactly. The, the Justin Hawkins, was. yeah. But no, I got this, and we're very happy. Okay, I'm yeah. very happy to have uh, the Les Paul in the bay, and uh, I'm very happy that we are tuned in drop D. Drop D. Because we've got a pedal today. Yeah. That's all you know. What we're drinking? Uh, what we're drinking? Yeah, we forgot the most important part of the show. We're drinking. It's G, so it's uh, a G episode, and we're drinking. There you go, mate. Thank you, mate. We're drinking ginger beer, all the uh, way from Australia, mate. Bundaberg. All right. Put the tally back. Do the honors. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, there you go. It's alcohol-free ginger brew. Okay. Have Which you tried it? Have you heard of it before? No, I haven't actually. Cheers. It's really Cheers, good. Man. It's really good. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. Spicy. Oh, it's so good. No, wait, I love be. it. Excellent. So good. Excellent. And it's alcohol free, which is nice. Oh, lovely. Okay. So, yeah, ginger beer, G episode. And it's my turn to give you something. All right. And what do you know? You know that it's a pedal. I think you paid 60 odd for it. 66. And new uh, retails for 87. Okay. And as I said, I'm very happy to have the Les Paul in the Bay. And I'm particularly happy today that we're uh, tuned in Drop D to play the... Oh, wow. Uh, to play our okay. theme. Um, boy, I don't know. I'm not the best at pedals. I mean, we had a guy comment. Thank you so much for everyone that's commented so far. It's, it's so way. great. But some guy commented saying he wanted a fuzz pedal. If it is a fuzz pedal, I'd be super happy. <laughs> You're supposed to open it. Not yeah, well. give me So, a... uh, I'll tell you this. It is a fuzz pedal. It is a... Oh, man. Yes. And it's the fuzz pedal for you. It's a fuzz pedal for me? Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, I haven't <laughs> seen the front of it. Oh, my God, how light is this? It's a big muff. Russian. Hey, it looks and feels Russian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's uh, well known, isn't it? It's the, it's the Russian big muff. One of the most Okay, is that why it's for me, is yeah. it? <laughs> of course. Let's not get into my private life. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't comment any further. You added that extra comment. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, Big Muff. Cool. Oh, man. Super excited. It's even got... Um, it says something in Russian. I can maybe ask uh, one of my friends over, to I translate. <laughs> we'll cut this out. Um, oh, we would. Uh, it says overdrive, I think. Oh, man. Super cool. I'm, I've never played a fuzz pedal before, so I don't know how it's going to... Any gonna... fuzz pedal? Nothing? No, never. Not a fuzz face? Not a... Maybe in a multi-effect or something, but you don't get the true experience, do you? Unless it's plugged into a, you know, a tube amp, so... Yes. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of massive fuzz, but more like your Eric Johnson sort of subtle fuzz, you know? Okay, violin-y, um, yeah. singing yeah. fuzz for long, sustained notes. Uh, what is it? Dave Gilmour, Eric Johnson. Yeah. To use it more like a, um, like a backup to your overdrives. Mm -hmm. to... Mm -hmm. No, I like really crazy fuzz. That is not 
That's quite... Well, that's, that's probably going to be up my street then. Yes, that's your type of fuzz, definitely. Cool. Yeah, very cool, mate. Awesome. I love the look of it as well. It's like matte, very light. And is it made in Russia? I or, don't think so. Nah. I think it's made yeah, in the US. Electro harmonics. Right? Electro harmonics is all made in the US, if I'm not mistaken. Literally says nothing on it, except. I don't sadly don't have the bin. box. It didn't, it didn't come with the original box. Okay. Um, but it's in good condition, as you can see. And uh, yeah, let's put it on the board. Uh, my idea would be to uh, just have both the telly and the Les Paul through okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, the tuning drop D is already ideal for, for fuzzing. And I would put the tube screamer before it because people do that with fuzz pedals, especially with big muffs. Mm -hmm. It gives it a nice mid push, makes it more wholesome. And then compare with the boost fuzzy like channel of the mud honey. See what happens with the royal blue after it. Okay. And then wrap it up. Yeah, nice one. Let's, Let's do that then. Plug it in. Check it out. Okay, we're back. We've plugged uh, the big muff Russian uh, in the pedal board. Danny has. Uh, he's Les Paul, and uh, he will demonstrate the pedal. Basically, he will be playing, and I'll be twiddling. Everything is at 12 o'clock. Danny, the stage is yours. How do I... my clean sound. <laughs> There's not a huge range of, um, I mean, the drive, which is sustain on big muffs typically, um, all the way down is, um, yeah, very faint. There's not a huge difference between 12 o'clock and all the way up, mm -hmm. for example. So there's not a wide range of, of available drive there. And um, muffs, uh, fuzzers don't <laughs> clean up the best. Well, do you they? say muffs. Um, yeah. They don't, they don't that notoriously, they don't clean up. Fuzz faces do. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, the Dunlop fuzz faces do. I have no idea whether it has to do with the silicon thing or the germanium thing, but big muffs are not known for um, cleaning up well and for great versatility. It's just a very wall of sound kind of uh, fuzz. Uh, all the, what you said uh, earlier with Eric Johnson, Dave Gilmer, singing, violini yeah. kind of, a lot of sustain. Maybe I can try and get some kind of solo sound to, you know, that kind of violin. Yes, I would say thing. play one more time uh, something repetitive, like, um, uh, you know, a rhythmic thing, just a percussive thing. And I'll play again one more with the sustain, the drive, to see what happens. Uh, then with the tone. Mm -hmm. And when I find a nice setting, Maybe you can do some solo stuff and see okay. how, how yep. much sustain you can have. Let's go.
that's the kind of fuzz sound that I like. Oh. This sputtery, uh, sa saturated, but still pronounced. Um, sometimes not so clear, sometimes a bit messy. That's the. Mm. Uh, but this, as fuzzes go, this one's quite mild and uh, contained. You know, it's, it doesn't go out of control. When the tone was up, it went really scoopy, didn't it? That's the other thing. Um, the sustain thing, which is the drive, uh, doesn't have much range. The tone, however, does. So all the way up, so um, let's see it like a treble bass thing. So all the way up, the tone becomes a, um, a lo-fi thing. So yeah, bass yeah, uh, is yeah. removed completely. Yeah. And all the way down, you just get bass without the treble. Um, so the tone is really usable. It gives you a lot of uh, different yeah, frequencies uh, and uh, options. You can do lo-fi introductions. You can do uh, interesting things. I like where it is now. Yeah, me too. I think with the Les Paul, it's maybe a bit too thick because this is generally a thick sounding guitar. You Very know. high output um, pickups. Right? No, they're, they're relatively low. I okay. want to switch them out okay. for the lower output, but still, this, is such, the, this guitar is super heavy. It's more like a custom than a, than one of the modern sort of chambered things. It's proper heavy, and um, therefore it's a very full tone, you know. And um, I don't think I don't think I'm, this kind of fuzz is for me, to be honest. I think it's in the fingers as well, and um, that's why people like Eric Johnson, Josh Smith uses a fuzz pedal as well. But the Venuram fuzz that yeah, he created, you know, the mirror yeah. fuzz, which is. Quite sputtery, quite messy. Yeah, that's also not my thing. And I, like I mean, they make it sound good, but it's, it's not Let's really. see what happens with some stacking. So, uh, Tube Screamer before it, uh, the low uh, gain drive on the Mud Honey after it, and also the Royal Blue as a cleanish boost and see, okay. uh, boost and see if there's yeah. any, any, you know, happy place we can find there. Uh, again, play something, something rhythmic, I would say. So, with the Tube Screamer before it, it gives it a nice, crunchy, makes it more wholesome, you know, punch. Uh, definitely usable. I like it, actually. Maybe you might say too much gain. It starts feedbacking a lot. It's, it gets out of control. Yeah, that was really like a... But it gives it... Hell of a lot. Funnily feedback. enough, gives it top end. Just adds more top yeah. end, pushing the front end of the Big Muff uh, with a Mud Honey after it. Uh, again, the tunnel thing. Not as bad as with the Tube Screamer. Remember the Fangs episode? Yeah. We, we, yeah. we got the Fangs through the Tube Screamer. Again, this um, tunnel thing. Um, because the Mud Honey is also a, a mid-humpy kind of um, drive. So unusable, I would say. 
um, afterwards, but definitely the tube screw before it gives it more yeah, drive, more saturation. Yeah, it definitely helped it. Yeah, it did really good. And then alone as well was also quite nice, but it's a very usable fuzz. That's for sure, it's very usable and it doesn't get too lost. No, it's, uh, as we said, as fuzzes go, it's one of the subtle ones. Um, yeah, I yeah. like it. Let's check it out with a Telecaster. Yeah, Yeah, that too. Well, the money for nothing. Yeah. I can't. I don't know it. I have to practice it. But I was thinking of the um, the one that um, uh, Tom Morello plays with the kill switch. There's a Rage Against the Machine song that goes like this. Ah, uh, yeah. I forget now. Killing in the name. No. No, no, no. No. Uh, the parade. Bulls of Is it? parade. Yeah. Bulls of parade. Bulls of parade. <laughs> Sounds great with a telly. Because it's a, I guess because it's a muff, you have a bit more, a bit more range with what you can do with your dynamics and your right hand. With a Les Paul, you're like in huge wall of sound territory yeah, quite yeah. early on. With a telly, you have a bit more, a bit more room to a play, a bit more leeway. Yeah. yeah, because of the single coils, not so much output. Okay, and I we like, we definitely dig the tube screamer before the big muff. It does something to it. Uh, just gives it more frequencies, more punch. Um, yeah, nice. I, like, I it. like it. And I think, you know, backing off the tone a little bit, you know, brings again out the bass and the, you know, the Telecaster is obviously very direct and sort of can be spiky with the tone too much up. Back it off a bit. 
rounds it up and it's very thick sounding. I mean, Telecasters sound awesome. For and you can, be, you can be in the background uh, with, yeah, with the, the tone of the, of the Big Muff a bit like 11-ish and then have the tube screamer and gives it a bit more, yep. a bit more top. And want to do it once, like just slightly back off the... Sounds pretty nice. All right. So, we're all muffed out. <laughs> <laughs> can one be muffed out at all? Is that even possible? Yeah, you can muff someone out, can you? I think. I guess. I've seen it online. Cheers. That ginger beer is amazing, by the way. Mm. I think it's the best thing we've had so far. Yeah, taste-wise, for sure. Yeah, the most pleasant thing to drink mm. in 12 episodes. It's from Australia. It's Australian. I've been there to Bundaberg. And then, uh, yeah, it's, it's in the, the sticks. and It's on the coast. Um, it's a really cool place. Lovely. They do they do rum as well, but this is also the okay. alcohol free stuff. But it's so, super tasty. It's good in um, Moscow Mule, which fits to the Big Moth, you know, the Russians and that. You heard it here. <laughs> Danny has been to Australia. <laughs> Don't stop. Anyway. No, no, we, we can make this. So, yeah, that was um, a good that was a good pedal for for it being a moth. It was very very good. I mean, it, it's um, very clear. For what it is, and it didn't get lost too much in the mix yes. or anything. And what do you think? Do you, is this something you would want to keep a hold of? I um, not really because um, that's a very you know subjective personal thing. I like having a high gain that's not muff like, that's not fuzz like, just a regular high gain pedal, and the the mud honey serves me well for the time being. And if it's a fuzz, yeah. I think I, I like a really messed up. Like the Keeley Bender fuzz, like the fuzz faces. <laughs> <laughs> He's losing it again. Yeah, like the, the Keeley. Um, <laughs> I should stop saying Keeley, I guess. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't that you said Keeley. Was it? <laughs> What's the name of the pedal? Which one? This one. The Keeley? Uh, Bender. Uh, yeah. The Fuzz Bender. That's My old right. teacher's name. Bender. Mr. Bender. No, I'm joking. You joke? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bender, amazing. So uh, yeah, all the uh, the Vemurum fan, um, the Vemurum fuzz <laughs> that um, Josh Smith plays, or um, a fuzz face. That's that. It gets really technical, and I'm sure if you check out that pedal show, you'll see. You know they do. They, I, I just saw a recent post. They're going to put it in the fridge. They're going to cool it down. They're oh, going to warm it up. I think. I mean, we will probably never get that far into pedals and. Uh, fuzz pedals for sure but I mean it's very usable but we're going to stick it back on the market are we? I I yes. in I'm selling traditional it. guitar I, I will, bay will, fashion that's right that's right I will sell it I want an octave fuzz like a really messed up yeah. octave fuzz uh, for the pedal board so how do we wrap up episodes uh, album it's With G G ginger beer um, or ginger brew as it says um, you got one? yeah I do it's actually it was hard to find an album with G Um there was Guns N' Roses Lies was one of the ideas, but you know what? It wasn't really it was wasn't really my sort of album. I mean I listened to a couple of tunes from there, but it was Ghost Stories from Coldplay. I don't know if you're a Coldplay fan. I don't dislike them as much as uh, people seem to enjoy disliking them. Um, yeah, people I love to them. dislike Coldplay, but this album in specific is kind of more your journey sort of music as in your kind of experienced music. Um, Ghost stories. Yeah. Is it before the the big one, like uh, a rush to the head, a rush of yeah, blood? Yeah. No, head? after. It's okay. more recent. It's okay. more recent, and it was um, with they produced it with Avicii, which I'm a huge fan of Avicii. I love his music, and I'm, I'm kind of into dance, um, sort of pop music as well. And Timberland was on it too, doing some stuff. And their music, okay. it's really good. It is really good, and it's very different for a, a song from it that I would know. Magic. Another one? Um, 
Sky full of stars, because you're a sky. Yes, you're a sky I know that one. Okay, that one. Yeah, that's uh, with Avicii. Produced. I haven't, I haven't spent enough time listening to that stuff to uh, appreciate the the production. But I think Chris Martin himself, oh, the again, amazing. again gets a lot of stick. He's but, a brilliant musician, dude. In you know, when you see the original recordings of him coming up with Yellow and you know the the big Coldplay hits. He is a genius. He is a and, and, and the best a, one of the best songwriters of our time. And he seems to be a fun bloke too, from all I've yeah. seen. You know, comedy shows yeah. with Ricky Gervais and so on. Yeah, I, I never have no problem enjoying and praising Coldplay whatsoever. But I had no idea about this album, Ghost Stories. You'll see the yeah the album cover. Uh, Yours and mine. You can see it in the room if you pay attention. Well, I guessed it before. You, you just said yeah. Zappa for some reason. Yeah, uh, we were just discussing before we started. Uh, shooting today and um, I knew there was uh, you know the grand something the I'm grand not, wazoo uh, yeah wazoo in New Sorry, York just... slang is uh, is um, asshole it's a it's so we've a, got benders muffs your... and arseholes <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what happens in the guitar bay uh, yeah the grand wazoo it's um, <laughs> it's mostly it's mostly instrumental and um, it's you know if you read the um the Zappa biography. You, you will see lots of Zappa bits if you look around. Many Zappa Easter eggs uh, in our shots and edge of shots. There's a DVD there. There's the book. Uh, there's Mr. Zappa there, and there's. Uh, Someone commented uh, about something that they saw in the bay. Yeah. Didn't they? I thought. Probably. Yeah. They said they liked the poster. Once or again, thank thank you to everyone for commenting and liking and subscribing. This is really nice to experience. A couple of words about the Grand Wazoo. It's it's mostly instrumental. Um, and it's uh, for one year Zappa had to be uh, in a wheelchair recovering because somebody uh, just leapt onto him while on stage because he claimed later in court that he uh, that Zappa was just uh, eyeing his girlfriend uh, so he just uh, leapt and just pulled Zappa down in the pit in front of the stage and he just uh, banged his neck and he had to stay in a wheelchair uh, oh, for wow. a year and during recovery that's one of the two albums I think that he recorded um, right after uh, the Mothers of Invention had a, a like a hiatus or they broke up for a while and that's an amazing amazing um, album it just captures the the craziness of Zappa with the fretless guitars the amazing brass work two drummers playing at the same time um, the, the self-titled track The Grand Wazoo um, Blessed Relief amazing f five, five tracks uh, but it's just deep in my heart that record. awesome The Grand yeah. Wazoo Frank Zappa and ginger beer and muffs and wazoos. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support so far. And thanks. Keep the comments and likes and subscribing. Yes, please. Keeps us going, you know. Sometimes hard to <laughs> get our stuff together. And oh, we, we laugh a lot. When we, yeah, we laugh a lot. We have a lot of fun. We film the bay. So happy to have the Les Paul now. Mm -hmm. the bay. Everything's a bit rounder. And uh, yeah. Next time there'll be another guitar. Which is fantastic. Oh, right. A very exciting one, this one. Yeah. Cool. Let's see. I have right. no idea. Bye. Cheers.